Hello, my name is Danielle, and today I would like to explain to you how to get maximum recovery from your concentrated samples using a technique called reverse spin. After you've concentrated or desalted your sample using an ultrafiltration centrifugal concentrator like a Microcon or Amicon Ultra, your final ending volume may only be a few microliters. To get every last microliter of sample back out of the device and into your collection tube without using a pipette, you could use reverse spin. Let me say up front that a reverse spin is not reversing the direction of the spinning centrifuge. It simply refers to inverting the concentrator into a collection tube and centrifuging again to get every drop of precious concentrated sample into the collection tube. This technique is primarily designed for small concentrators where the sample is concentrated to less than 50 microliters or where it is difficult to recover the concentrated sample. Some devices don't need a reverse spin. The reverse spin technique not only recovers all of the residual volume from the concentrator, it also eliminates the need for handling the sample with a pipette tip that can lead to additional losses. However, it is important to use the appropriate collection tube for your device. For example, the Microcon in Amicon 0.5 use a special microfuge tube included with the product. The Amicon 2mm devices has a special cone-shaped tube included in the kit, which can also double as a cap for the initial spin. This is how you reverse spin a Centricon Plus 70. I hope you found this video helpful demonstrating how to get maximum recovery from reverse spin. Thank you for watching.